I'm using documenting my thoughts as an excuse to remain in the mind and to try and figure everything out without actually doing what I'm being told to, which is don't think, just do. It is the understanding of concepts as one thing, and then you close the book. You lock it away in your mind and you keep it there and you go, okay, now let's apply that knowledge. I'm stuck in the knowledge and trying to figure everything out, but I need to apply. One of the things I need to apply is be in the now. Live for the moment, not for the future. I'm enthralled too much in my mind, the space of the future, worried about my financial security, worried about timelines of life and my expectations of myself that I'm lowering and preferences with Questions like, if you had no concerns, if if someone could take your concern of money away from you, right? I'm not going to narrow it down to if a specific scenario, like if you won the lottery or if money wasn't a thing, because that starts to make the mind figure a whole new reality. I'm just saying, as an abstract concept, if I was to take the pressure of money, the worry of money away from you, what would you do? And feel free to answer it in your own mind. But you could ask another question, which is also quite important, is the, you know, aspect of the, not the aspect, but the, the element of time. Like we always refer to time. And if you think along the same kind of lines of thought and I, you know, identification of time, then you can say that the most important thing, the most important resource in life is not money or finances. It's time. Time is something that we make up and it's not something that anyone owns and it's not anything anyone can control. It's a, it's just a reminder. It's just a, you know, but, but really there are different viewpoints to it. So if you say in your day-to-day -day life, there is that fact, but there's also the, the time clock, calendar time, which we measure increments of for our minds to understand and calculate. Fine. Okay. If you're talking about that kind of time, when people say, oh, I have no time. Of course. Yeah. Uh, if Someone was to say, okay, well, in that way of thinking, if someone could take or get, just give you all the time you need, if you had all the time in the world, then uh, what would you do with it? And then your mind might go to another restriction about money, finances. Okay, well, if someone was to take that pressure of both, I mean, as a long-winded way of getting around to it, <laughs> But if someone was to take away both pressures of time and money, those concerns are gone. You no longer have those concerns. Don't worry about them. They don't matter. In this scenario, how would you live your life? I think I need to answer that for myself. Because that will give me an indication a picture of who I think I am or who I think I know I am. It'll give me an idea. But until I actually put that into practice and actually do things that I love to do, make time for them. Day to day, little things. You have to do your chores. That's for upkeep. You have to invest in the future. You have to live in the now. And the only thing is you got to do it. You got to be it. You can't think it. You can't think it. You can't imagine it. You have to enact it. That's being. So you've got to prove it. And that's the truth. So if I 
imagine, oh, okay, if I had all the time in the world and I didn't have to worry about money, I would do this and this and this. Okay, well, try it. Try tiny little increments of that, tiny little samples of it, whatever you can manage. But actually do it. You don't have to commit, you know, hugely. You don't have to subscribe to that membership. You don't have to, um, you know, start that course. You don't have to develop a business before you start doing that idea. You don't have to reach it. You know, you don't have to do anything. You're putting that pressure on yourself because you're scared to do what you really want to do. And it might prove that that's bullshit or it might prove that you're not capable or it might prove that anything. It might prove anything. But nothing's a failure because you're trying to align yourself with your true passions and your true desires. And we need to make micro time for that every day, just like we do our maintenance and our chores and our investments and our social upkeep. We need to focus on our health. We need to focus on lots of things. You need to make time for all of these important factors. And one of the important factors is that there's this time of being now and for you and your preference. Tomorrow's not promised. How would you live your last day? How would you live your last month, your year, your decade, your day, your now? How would you live it, ideally? Ideally. Get closer to that ideally. And it might change, but it's closer to who you are. I don't do this enough. I get kicks out of documenting it and, and wrapping my head around it, problem solving. And then I like to automatically, like as a... As a part of my nature I like to lay a path behind me to help others that I think that's always in the back of my mind that's just it helps drive me forward is knowing that or at least feeling and hoping that as I step forward as I advance myself I always want to just reach my hand out and help someone else come with me you can all you know benefit from this in some way because otherwise it feels kind of selfish and really alone and scary to just go in these mysterious ways of thinking and realizations within yourself and within the world, obviously. Um, <laughs> whatever. Just do. Now.